Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And it's also the channel where we open up old school magic posts. Finally, it is a mail day video again. So I got some really sweet packages for you. So I've got mail from Belgium and I've got mail from the Netherlands. And these are cards that I'm going to use in a new deck that I'm building with Lance Edge and Land Tax. So I'm expecting some Lance Edges and Land Taxes in this uh in today's mail day so let's just get cracking as you can see i've already opened up this one because i had to check if the mail was actually in there to confirm that the shipment arrived so that's why i opened it up this one's too close though i'm gonna open this up in a sec I'm gonna start with this mail day here i think there we go so here you can already see this card do you know what this card is oh they're from the same set but they're different they're not in the same deck, by the way. This one is bought for a different uh, purpose. Let me open this up. This is, I believe, my Lantex number um, three, which is enough for the deck that I'm currently building. I think three Lantexes is kind of the sweet spot for, uh, for the deck. Well, let's get going. It's going to be a creatureless deck. So build around Lantex and Lance Edge. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is Lantex, of course, a card for one white and enchantment. And during your upkeep, if an opponent controls more lands than you, you may search your library and remove up to three basic land cards and put them into your hand. And then you get to reshuffle your library afterwards. That's kind of cool. It is actually a really, really good card if your opponent has more lands than you. And here we can see the back of the cards here. You can see some damage, which makes sense. It's exactly the state as it should be in for the price I paid for it. That's the important thing, of course. And then we have the other card that I bought. This card is kind of interesting. It's kind of this wacky card. Legends has so many of these wacky cards. And I'm trying to collect all the uh, common cards from Legends. And Remove Enchantments is one of those common cards. And there's also a card behind it. But let's first look at Remove Enchantments. So it's one white for an instant that reads, Remove all enchantments you control and remove all enchantment cards played on all permanents you control. If this spell is cast during an opponent's attack, also remove all enchantment cards played on the attacking creature. Which is kind of cool, right? You don't see that many... Um, you know, enchant creatures being played anymore, but control magic is a card that's being played quite a lot. So if your opponent attacks you with the creature it took from you with the control magic, I can play this and that control magic falls off. So this is a pretty unique thing. Um, all enchantments you own or return to your hand, all other enchantments are destroyed so that control magic then actually gets destroyed. So it's, it's quite interesting. It's a card you don't see that often, but, um, I think it has some purpose. I think it, it should have some decks. And then we have, okay, this is a, this is a Korean. I'm always so bad. I actually made a video about it, explaining how you could see if it's Chinese or if it's Korean or if it's Japanese. And yeah, I keep forgetting. You can see it by looking at the dot, but like I said, I keep forgetting how it works. Anyway, this is a foreign giant growth. That's for sure. And oh, nice. An unlimited Nettling Imp. That's pretty cool. I actually forgot that I ordered the Nettling Imp as well. What I do sometimes, and I'm sure you recognize this, I order a card that I'm looking for, in this case, the Lantex, and then I go and look if the seller has some other stuff that's interesting, usually smaller stuff that I then add to my order because you pay for shipment anyway. And usually it goes up to four cards before it gets more expensive. So Nettling Imp, I think absolutely stunning art by Quentin Hoover. There's so much happening here. I mean, take a good look at this. And yeah, this Netley Imp is not in the best condition, but I don't own an, an uh, unlimited copy and this was kind of cheap, up for grabs. So what it does is tap to force a particular one of opponent's non wall creatures to attack. If target creature cannot attack, it is destroyed at the end of turn. So you can really use this with an icy manipulator, tap down the creature and then force the creature to attack. And uh, yeah, then it's gonna destroy itself. This tap should be played during opponent's turn before the attack may not be used on creatures summoned this turn. So that's of course important. Or else this would be a summoned creature killer that would make it really, really good. 
This card is really nice to play, for example, with Sengir Vampire, or Royal Assassin, or like I said, with the Icy Manipulator. There are a lot of combos uh, possible with the Imp. It's pretty cool. So these are the first four cards, and then we're gonna continue with Post from Belgium. Look at this Belgium duck. Really nice. The interesting thing, by the way, is so I, I live in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Belgium is right next door. But for some reason, this took a long time to get here. And I've had that before with Belgium Post. And it has nothing to do with the seller. Absolutely not. It's just the Post, Belgium Post and Dutch Post. I don't know what happens there. Maybe somebody can explain, but it always takes ages. But hey, as long as it arrives, I am happy. And I don't know what this is. But uh, this should have some really neat cards. I'm just going to get the scissors real quick. I don't want to bend or damage anything, of course, while opening this. There we go. So I'm expecting more cards to go in my Lantex Lance Edge deck, which is actually a deck that you can you can make with reprints as well, because Lantex and Lance Edge, Lance Edge have been reprinted. Okay, so we've got this mental whatever. Ornithoptera, whatever. Hey, there's the first card in the bunch. A Wrath of God. Wow, this Wrath has seen some play. Look at that. Wrath of God. I love the art. In case you didn't know, this is a face. I guess it's supposed to be the face of God. People are always joking about this shot here in the, at the bottom. I think it's it's really, really, really cool artwork. Wrath of God, all creatures in play or destroyed and cannot be regenerated. This was such a chase card when I was playing Revised when I started Magic. This is an unlimited copy, of course, which you can see by the brighter colors, but also by the thick line at the bottom. And usually, but not all the time, the letter type is a little bit bigger. But um, yeah, this was really, really a chase card. You know, when I played uh, Revised, this was really a card you wanted to find in your booster. Wrath of God. Okay, then we have another Nui Nui, Nui Nui card. And here we have, there we go, there's the Lance Edge. Really nice condition, this Lance Edge, by the way. So Lance Edge is an enchant world for two red and one from Legends that reads, any player may discard a card from hand at any time. If the player discards a land card, Lance Edge does two damage to target player after discarding player's choice. So obviously it goes really well with the land tax that we looked at earlier. So when you combine this, the land tax is gonna provide you a lot of basic lands in hand. And with Lance Edge, I can just discard them and deal damage to my opponent. And if I wanna make a creatureless deck, then obviously the Wrath of God is a great addition to that strategy. And here we see another Lance Edge. So. I think my Lance Edge Lantex deck actually is almost complete. I only need a few more components. And uh, when it's done, you'll definitely see it in action on the channel. Um, if you'd like me to tell you more about the deck, maybe do a separate deck tech video, please let me know in the comments below and I'll, I'll have a look. I'll, I'll see if I can find some time to make a deck tech video for you guys. But again, only if you would like me to, so let me know in the comments below. For now, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?
Ik het als fikker te somber gezien.